So you mentioned you didn't really know what a math circle was, but now that you've had some experience, how would you define a math circle to somebody who doesn't know what it is? Um, I still, I, I'm still not entirely sure <laughs> I know what a math circle is, because I think it takes many many forms you know people are working with kids at different ages at different levels of ability with different intentions in mind i define math circles as being um, opportunities for um, students whether those are k-12 through students or parents or teachers or guardians or other adults to come together and engage in problem solving math circle is a time when you can just enjoy math and play with math and you don't have a specific problem or task that you have to complete and hopefully it's a very friendly and not stressful environment where people just work together and enjoy and play with the math. Parents, adults who are interested in math, um, together with the students to show them something Show them something that math can be beyond just the problems that they're doing in their in their classroom. And you know, if they have a great teacher, maybe this is already happening, and some of this may already be happening in the classroom, and that's fabulous. But I think all too often it isn't. The teachers just don't have time to do that. They're trying to get through their curriculum, and the math circles you have the opportunity to bring in something that's accessible, but just kind of totally tangential. It, it's an amorphous thing and it'll be different in different areas and different ages and depending on who's running it. It can be neighborhood, small size, ours is very large based at a university. But I think the key thing is that it is not so much about teaching more math, though that is very often a, a, an obvious focus. It's about trying to uh, reach deeper and broader. I guess the way I describe it in my nutshell is that to me a math circle is like um, jazz music. So. It's not classical music, it's not all written out with a score, and your job as the players is not to execute the score perfectly. Um, it's much more, here's a, here's a set of chord changes, here's a theme, uh, go do something, and it's on you, and then listen to what the other person did, and build off of that, and so you're somehow this ensemble of improvisation. I think it's exploring math um, through innovative means, um, non-traditional means of exploring math, letting kids think outside the box. It's learning in a fun way, uh, learning that math is not just numbers, it's not just worksheets, um, and well, well, yeah, just showing them what's out there, showing them different occupations, different education routes that they can go. In our case of what we do, I try to and tell people to think of it, the math world as a tree and the curriculum in your school goes up the trunk of the tree sequentially very linearly and we actually actively try not to accelerate students through that curriculum rather we try to branch off of that to do things that are not going to be covered in school so we go more for breadth. We learn to uh, talk about mathematics and we learn, we learn to read and write mathematics and do mathematics but we learn to talk about it with each other and we learn that it's a conversation not just about the mathematics, but about the experience of doing mathematics. I would say it's usually kids and professionals together sharing the human experience of mathematics, on the way shape form that is. Usually in the structure of meeting informally outside of class, blah, 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 blah. All, all those definitions can be broken. We're teaching kids to actually think about mathematics. We're not teaching it as a low order skill like operating some kind of a tool, which is my view of most of the way mathematics is traditionally been taught. Um, we're, we're teaching it as a high order cognitive set of skills. An engaging, um, extracurricular, not time to commit. And I mean that not only but not at school times, I mean, some of them are during school times so because they're maybe for homeschool children, but they're, they're not tied to curriculum. Um, so that's a freeing aspect of it. Um, I would say that it's usually led by a mathematician or coordinated with mathematicians so that you engage in really authentic um, and deep mathematical discovery that looks like what doing mathematics looks like. The people who come there all are there because they want to be there. I think that's one difference between a math circle and like a school math class. Get past the curriculum, trying to get past the 
the, the, the homework aspect of it to find their interest and, and s stimulate that interest is really what that service is all about. Thank you.